we're nearly in town. Oh God, look at this one. There's been so many people with death wishes today. That woman with the bike. Batshit crazy in London, folks. Batshit crazy. Let's put a little bit of light on this. Ah, there we go. So we're nearly um, at the hotel. Just going up to um, into town. We've left the party. I As my mum said, food is that wise to go? But I trust Maddie so completely. I could have eaten all the food on the table. I know, I you really gonna, did. I bet we're going to go and get some wanky stuff in a restaurant. I mean, all I want is ham sandwiches. No, we can get something non-wanky. <laughs> like what? I don't know. Five, Five guys. guys. Ha! Uh, I know you so well. That always leaves on feeling a little bit... Mm. Unclean. Unclean, yeah. Mm. Waggers. Waggers, yeah, we could do that. Haven't been for a while. Been to a waka for ages. Yeah, just, waka waka waka. Waka waka. Waka waka waka. Waka waka. And then we're going to go to Selfridges tomorrow. I think that's where we'll get. Do they sell stuff other done. than clothes? Oh, stuff. they sell everything. Do they? Well, everything. Like, like Perfume, jewelry, store. makeup, handbags. Oh. Bam bags. Bags. Bam bags. Bam bags. And beautiful stuff for the house. They have oh. everything. It's like the best place to go Christmas shopping. Is it? Yeah. Nice. Oh. Oh, oh else my God. Pulling out in front of the bus. Hi, guys. I just wanted to tell you I fucking love car parks. I love them. I love walking through them. I love parking in them. I love staying in them. I love the smell. I love the light. I just love the feel of them. I really love car parks. So it's as if there's no pingdemic. It's, so it's as if it's there's no omni crumpet. There's not every table. Is oh, what's that? Well, that's like not surprising. Well. Look at those lights up ahead. Mm. Look, look at the lights. Oh, that's so pretty. You know they're included in one of the top light shows of London this year. What here? Yeah, those trees. Oh, they are very pretty. Yeah. Oh my God, I think that's. Cool. We need smell vision We should do scratch and smell. What ever happened to scratch and sniff books? Yeah. Do they still sell them for kids? Did oh, they ever? Oh, yeah, the one strawberry the straw. one. Oh, I yeah. love that scratch and sniff. Yeah, the girls had one, didn't they? Go like that. No, I had one as a kid. Go like that. Do you remember the paint books where you put a bit of wet paint on the, on the shape and yeah. it would come up with a different colour? I'm just going to film the lights. Who's got Omicron and who hasn't? I can't hear a word you're saying. <laughs> I can't say it louder than that. You think everyone's got Omicron? No, I'm sitting here trying to guess who has and who hasn't. Has anyone? I don't think they have, but I think, I think the people they have. <laughs> and I think they have. Get it tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I'm in front of a candy cane, in front of a carousel. Carousel. Uh, 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 uh. So now it's for lots of people. 
Absolutely, I haven't been in the London Eye. This is the London Eye. What's the major word you would use to describe it? Boring. Boring, it's fucking boring. Everyone that goes on it expects a little bit of a fair go Yeah. But and what happens is you crawl around at the slowest, slowest pace. Yeah, you like don't even notice you're moving. It goes, it goes. That's not even an exaggeration. You so boring. Oh, it is because you're supposed to be taking photographs of London. You've seen London. Yeah, but also, if it's grey and dismal, you can't see London. It's, it's an, a feat of engineering, though, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I mean, it's just so stunning. Turn your camera around. <laughs> right, I'm just showing Mark Subs a good shot. So turn it around. Why is it? Right now, hold your hold your phone. <laughs> this is a great shot. Watch this. It is. I've got to be in the middle. Right here we go. You need it to be super wide. It's fucking rubbish. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> rubbish. I'm on, my, on myself. Hang on, oh, hang on, God. Mark. Wait. No, no. I know what I'm doing. Give me a minute. I've done this before. Here it comes. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shit. Mark, why are you Let me show you. Let me show you. No. No. Mark, I'm doing a shot. <laughs> Problem is, it keeps getting my face and I don't want to wear that. Oh, what's that going to do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still in the shot. Right, I'm going to show you the shot. I'm going to show you the shot. I'm going to show you the shot. No, that's wrong. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, subs, I've turned it round now, and now I'm going to give you the shot, okay? That breathing that you can hear is Mark. <laughs> right. Let me that bit out, because that bit's ugly. <laughs> I didn't want to be in it. it. Listen. I'm going to find it's that so shot shit. that I did once, and it was really good. You know, it wasn't. It, was, it would never have been good. Showed you what to do. What did you just you say? You know what they should do, right? If, if, if I owned this, yeah. What's it called? The wheel. London Eye. London Eye. <laughs> I the, it's not called wheel. It's not called <laughs> just wheel. I would make those pods into sleeping pods at the price of hotels. Where would and you go for a piss? Well, you couldn't. Out the window? No, you'd have to hold it in. What if they took a shit and... They could give you a bottle. They could give you one of those things that they give you in a bottle. <laughs> what are those? Bed baths? Yeah. Not bed baths. What are they called? Bed pants? Bed pants. Look at that, Nats. It's like a U UFO. Shall I lie on it? Go on, then. Here's an example of what I was aiming for last night. Snow Village and Gingerbread. Lovely. Go on in. <laughs> Check in. <laughs> this is a bit strange. Why are you Nadia. standing like that? Why don't you just stand normally? <laughs> you don't know how to be. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Create the dancing nutcracker there. You've got to turn as well. Maybe put your bag down. Now put your leg up properly. <laughs> we'll try. Pivot. <laughs> My God, Mike, you look ill. Nads, pop a letter in. Dear, dear, dear Father Christmas. Pop a letter in. Can I please go to Greece for a week? 
or two weeks. That's a snowman. I don't think a week in Greece will be enough. No, he's going to take it to Father Keith. But he won't, he'll melt. <laughs> What's he doing there? Snoopy. No, it's not. No, it's Who is not. it? Snow Tintin's Snowy. dog. Snowy. Snowy from Tintin. I've got a really good shot. Run really fast towards the Christmas tree. Okay, so you see that Christmas tree? Yeah, right? yeah. Like, run towards it. Run towards it. That was an awful shot. I've dropped shot. My, my mask and I feel like I'm a terrorist for not having one. That was an awful shot, by the way. It was a good shot. This is a good shot in here. Oh, yeah, that'd be, why don't we use it to clean your teeth? <laughs> I'm not going to let them in. I'm not letting them in. I'm not letting her in. full lighting system here okay so try and guess what this is is this full light reading light or mood mood wrong is this mood full light reading or off mood yes is this full light <laughs> reading or mood or off uh, i think it's off this isn't a very interesting quiz. Is this full, full. reading? No, reading. Or mood? What? Reading. <laughs> yeah, are you sure? Yeah. Do you think this is reading? Yeah. Cheap rum. What is it? Full. It's not. Press it again, <laughs> it isn't. <laughs> okay, what's this? Full. What's this? Reading. What's this? Mood. What's this? Off. <laughs> what's this? Reading. What's this? I hope you're playing along at home. Full. What's this? Off. What's this? Mood. Hang on. Not yet. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> well done. You mean nothing. Yeah. I've got some ice down the end of the corner. I've got some chewing gum you can have. Can you see anything? Can you put it on full or reading? Not Shuffle. not, not mood. mood. Oh okay, I'm gonna put it on reading. <laughs> reading. So look, it's a condom for a remote. Oh, Mark! <laughs> Don't think this quiz kick off. Oh, you're not. You're supposed to... Oh, well, you're no, not because, supposed to... No, you must have to take it out because otherwise it's an unsanitised plastic bag. No, you do it through the plastic. But then the plastic will be dirty. Yeah, then That's true. That off, they must have to put new plastic. Why would they put it on? There's no point in Reassure... Oh, my God, look at this, guys. Reassuring moments. That does sound like a condom. Are you it's a remote condom. <laughs> <laughs> who's, oh, bloody hell, who's that behind you? <laughs> oh, my God. It was when you said reassuring moments. Yeah. She popped up. She's quite reassuring, though. <laughs> See what films there are. I think we've got to give up on these songs, don't you, Subs? Well, the big news is we slept, which is very, very strange, very strange. But we still had a really lovely evening. It was lovely to be with Kiki, actually. We had a giggle. It's quite an experience going to Selfridges. Christmas windows. We can have a look at all the Christmas windows. And then, I, don't, I think a lot of you haven't seen Selfridges either, have you? You liked Harrods, so we, think, we thought you might like Selfridges. What do you reckon? Oh, my God. 
16.8 today. I've got to get back on 16.8. Morning, guys. It's the most beautiful light I've ever sat in in my life. Um, and that's instead of the Covent Garden lights at night, which we couldn't get to because we were so damn batshit exhausted. So Nadia did her own little light display, which you'll have seen last night. Sleep, complete sleep, reading, dark or off or whatever they were. Sleep in heavenly peace. But I have had this strange woman looking at me all night. And I had the most bizarre dream, this bizarre dream. Um, deep sleep, bizarre dream, and heading out to look at actually the COVID memorial wall, which is opposite the Houses of Parliament. Uh, and we may well just stand by it and then stick our fingers up at Parliament. What do you say? Yeah, we so wanted to see this wall, haven't we, for ages. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, because we went out last night, because we were in a restaurant, we weren't there long and we were separated at the table. I've woken up this morning convinced I've got aching limbs. Yeah, I've got aching limbs just from exercise. I haven't. Oh. What about your 5k to walk to lap to couch? Couch to 5k. No, I think you're doing 5k to couch. I only did one last week. <gasps> you need to do three in a week. And you haven't done your intermittent fasting film. Oh! Yeah, but anyway, so yeah, it was so funny when we were sitting in the restaurant yesterday. I was trying to guess who had Omicron and who didn't. It is in your head all the time, isn't it? Yeah, as long it as it's is. not in your chest and in your throat, that's oh, the most important bit. Girls, um, me and Daddy didn't know how to tell you this. We've been talking about it and talking about how we're not going to say anything to you, haven't we, Mark? Yeah. But then we thought, we're going to tell you. We're actually really, really worried that you're going to refuse to watch Elf this year. And that's a step too far away from Christmas for us. It's really depressing. I'm an angry Elf. Mark and I just sat here and what have you just said to me? You're gaining a bit of a reputation. No, you didn't say it like that. Yeah. Say it as seriously as you did. I said, to be honest, you're gaining no. a No. <coughs> he went, he went, you're gaining a reputation for incomplete thinking. <laughs> well, it's as you sang it? happy birthday. Oh, oh, God. Don't I just, say it. It's as you sang What's happy wrong with you? You're just about to reveal it. Don't say what I did. Well, no one else is going to see it. Well, no, but people might know what you're talking about. She was supposed to sing Merry Christmas to someone and she sang Happy Birthday. Yeah, well, I didn't realise. But you don't care either. Not only do you have incomplete thinking, which is becoming notorious in London, in London town, it's everyone bad. knows this, you don't really care. I just said to Mark, when I find out what this dreadful thing is that's wrong with me and I have to end my life, I said, can we go and do it at Price Key before I do? He went, at Price Key? <laughs> this, is, this is what happens when you leave two Scorpios with 20 minutes to fill. And we always get to talking about our death, don't yeah, we? Yeah, totally. So we're having a totally normal conversation. And I, th I had the, one of those moments where I thought, if anyone else was to look into this conversation, they'd go, those two are nutters. And he goes, I'd prefer to take you somewhere like the Maldives. I said, I don't want to go to the Maldives. I'll be scared of a tsunami, so and then I'll be too. Ski? And then I'll be too sad because I'll know I'll never see the sea again. Why would you want to go Apre ski? Because I, because I was thinking of that place in Switzerland where you could kill yourself. I mean, the advantage of Apre ski is I could push you down a slope and you would just disappear. <laughs> no one would need know anything. Now, <clears throat> nobody must be offended by this conversation because we're actually showing you our real, real selves. This is the kind of chat that we have. Call it dark, call it sick, call it whatever you want, but this is us. This is it. Yeah. This is raw, unfiltered and real. We don't go a single day where we don't talk about our deaths. No, we don't. And how we... And for years, we thought that was normal. And then we told our friend Rachel, our homeopath, and she was like, what, brilliant. you just casually talk about your deaths? Well, and I was like... She, did she not think it was brilliant? Well, she thought it was brilliant that we were perfectly matched. It's probably not healthy, though, is it? When you think we met on a show called Perfect Partner... It wasn't dead partner though, was it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just did a really stupid thing. Did you see that pen Yeah. A man that looks like he might have had Omicron. Why did I get in? Omicron bit. So he bit. came out and I got straight into it. So his That's like getting breath into a small glass was, cage. Yeah. His breath will have been in there. Yeah. You've got I to be careful. Mask on, but, but doesn't a revolving door generate its own ventilation? He didn't have a mask on. No, he didn't. In fact, he was smoking Let's a crack go. pipe. I thought I'd keep smiling on You don't need them on now. No, the minute I get outside, I have to take them off. I oh, hate right. it so I'm much. I'm frozen cold. We're now crossing Westminster Bridge. 
bears big bend ow oh god you are oh, such a it's my stumbler bag. and a fumbler no, does your uh, does your other half always no, no, walk into side. you does you well you can't be filmed on that side <laughs> does your other half always walk into you does your other half always step in front of you so annoying does your other half lean into you and pull your arm down so we're heading down to see the memorial which sits opposite and there it is already so i'm going to turn you around i'm going to turn you around and we're going to go and see this it's going to be very moving parliament well boris near to where boris is having a tea party No, but if you step back it's here. Reminiscent of the road, the, um, <coughs> poppies in Tower, Tower Bridge, do you remember? Oh yeah, the, the Tower of London. Tower. Cross over there, garden parties. Just a hump. <laughs> Just imagining what it feels like every time a new scandal comes out about these people. And look at this, look at this as far as the eye can see. Exactly, so and our families. So looking, so See those two young boys, and they were writing the name of Turkish. And they took a photograph, and now they're taking a photograph of themselves directly opposite where they wrote. But look, what, look what's behind that photo. Cheese, anyone? There's something very poetic and clever about parking this directly opposite. Yeah. So look, the National Covid Memorial Wall, please take one heart to each person. Fre a freshly painted one and make your dedication. Look at this bit. Friends of the wall and a group of bereaved volunteers maintain the memorial by removing graffiti, repeated inscriptions and repainting fading hearts. All efforts are being made to maintain original dedications. Think of this group of people doing that all together. It's been just so beautiful about that. Desperately trying to, yeah, well, memorial, remember, put something down in concrete. Like the war memorials, but modern. So that was both, that was both heartwarming and heart-wrenching and heartbreaking. The effort and endeavor to maintain it, to create it, and then just the emotional impact of it all. Jeez. It's just a reminder, it's very easy to see these numbers on Sky News at the end of the day and not feel the hearts of them. Do you I mean, know what I mean? Lost somebody, yeah. It must be just so awful to just see them bunched in as numbers. Exactly. And people saying, as we do, you know, we're all falling for them. Oh, only 25 today, yeah. you know, because we're looking for that because we all need as humans to believe it's coming Some down comfort. and we're going to be safe. 
but every one yeah, of those. Yeah, that's a good point. Our comfort in a number coming down yeah. is another 25 still, going on that wall. Yeah, wow. pain and grief. Oh, God. London is busy. We'll never really understand what the shot was that Nadia was going for, oh, but there we go. What it was. I've done it before and it's fantastic. We're not doing very well with this shopping day, are we? It's now 20 past 12. We left the National Theatre I've car park frozen. five minutes ago, and now we're going back into it because we pulled onto Waterloo Bridge, and it looks like one of those well, we'll pileups on the we'll M5. Yeah. No cars moving at all now. There might have been a little blip and they might all be flowing along now, but we met, Mark made a last second decision, took the road off back into the National Theatre. And I love car parks in case they do not know I was just saying to Mark actually, years ago when I worked in the National, when I was a teenager, I worked there when I was like 17, loved it, loved it, loved it so much, it was an usherette. But it was around the time when there was a lot of bombs and there was a lot of terrorism yeah, that, yeah. and there was so many security checks that people were having to do and I had to sit one shift a week I had to sit down here with the security guard at a table down in the car park for like six seven hours looking checking people's bags and I was saying to Mark that he um, this security guard's wife had left him 15 years before and he, he became a misogynist truly hated women he never spoke did to he say he'd become a misogynist? we didn't say the word but he said he hated women and he could he didn't speak to any women for 15 years Good God. and I, I said well what about when you used to go in a shop no i wouldn't go in if i had to speak to i would go in i'd pay I wouldn't speak oh, so to. he kind of owned it and told you it yeah but i was enforced to sit with a man no, no, I know. that hadn't spoken to a woman for 70 and then because i was such a rescuer then i made it my mission that i had to make him love women again and guess what well, happened he did fell in love with me and he was like 60. What happened? I'm so lucky I didn't get cut up then? and put in a pie. Baby, why is it you're so vivid? Well, because he was a misogynist. You can't watch this stuff, but it's all he going on in so your head. He was so sad. He just couldn't forgive her for leaving him. So he wanted to chop you up and put you in a pie? Well, no, but he could have done, because I didn't know about how dangerous misogynists can be then. I just thought I felt sorry for him because he didn't like it women. Just very so I tried hurt. to make him like all women again. And I used to dance and everything down here in the car park. I no wonder he got the wrong idea. <laughs> no, but I did. Because you know that thing when you're a young, gorgeous girl and you never imagine the people you don't fancy are going to fancy you. He was just like a nice old man. I was like, all oh, this, just trying to make him like women again. And I got myself in the right pick lily. Right, so I, I have asked Mark to, to entertain the subs. Right, we're in a lonely, lonely car park. I'm going to throw this ball. And he's got to reenact Toffee. Put your bag down. He's got to reenact Toffee. Ooh, 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 mind, because I might hit you in the head with it, Mark. No mind. <laughs> he does anything for you, subs. Don't pick it up with your mouth, you'll get a deadly disease. <laughs> Good girl. Come on. <laughs> Is this starting to sound weird, Mark? Maybe people will think we've got a sexual weirdness about us. <laughs> Come on. Oh. <laughs> there you go. You do anything for you guys. It'd be interesting to see the CCTV tapes. <laughs> oh my God! Imagine people will think we've got a weird sexual affliction. What well, you have? Oh Mark. Did we, in classic London fashion, overreact too quickly? Yes. The traffic is moving at a steady pace. Shitting hell. Not really. There's definitely some sort of a. Hold up. Hold up up there. Honestly, ever since we got the decorations out of the loft, I've had the worst crook neck. Really bad, Mark. We're not going to do that next year. Is that my fault? Yeah. Careful, someone behind <gasps> you. What's wrong with you? Why are you making me nervous, Rick? Shit! Mark! <laughs> so, uh, what was that when you were fishing or when I dropped the... My hair was such a mess. Have you heard there's this new thing called fishing? It's like dogging, but on boats. No, it's... Yeah, they bring all these boats together and they all have sex with each other. Mark, shut up. Really weird. <laughs> something fishy about it. Mark! About to do something quite naughty. You're not going to do it. I might. Oh, my God. I've never seen you in one of these. I'm going to do it really quickly so nobody knows. Look at Christmas bakes and bakes. Trying to come with me. Christmas blankets. Where? Hot pigs under blankets. Forget. Oh. Hot pigs under blankets. That's clever, isn't it? 
that's it really, isn't it? Where's the special? They're out. So we just went into a that was this morning. We just went into a cafe Nero. I went up to the counter, the two women are on their phones. I said, Oh hi, could I get a double espresso? And they went, Can you just wait? Whilst they finished texting. So we stormed out. So we stormed out. out. And she was going, oh, excuse me, she was panicking. Well, oh, yeah. So I'm oh look, look I'm going to Cheetos. But look at that. Let's change. <laughs> Let's change what? I don't know. Us? Weird. Change into new clothes? Weird. So this is Oxford Street, guys. Lucky charms. Love Reese's Puffs. Oh, look at that cinnamon toast crunch churros. Oh. oh my god. But we can't carry anything. No. Oh, look. Oh, that's pretty. Snow suit. Look how tiny nice. the skiers are. Oh, I love that. Look at that. Oh, so, this is how I want on Snow Village. So do I. Snow I want it to have scope and range. Are you having a dazzling good time? Just to explain, guys, the Selfridges windows are a thing of great oh, tradition. I mean, people travel all over just yeah. to see the windows. I mean, I remember adults talking about them when I was young. Yeah, look at the Selfridges windows. Yeah, we wouldn't go and look, but yeah, I hear adults. Inside Selfridges, we just come and look at the windows. Yeah. Jolie, Jolie, Jolie. I'm begging of you, please don't take my. Now, if they were real hands, that would be quite impressive. They should have lots of people standing behind it clapping. Oh. What? Rounds and rounds and rounds of applause. Subs. Miss. One of you said, can you show us the fragrance hall in Selfridges? Did they? I can't remember who it was. There it is. So this is it? Is this where the Miss Selfridges is set? I thought it was a lion. It's just a splurge of colour. Yeah. So is this the main... Look those beautiful bottles. Oh, that's that place, isn't it? No. no. So is this the is this the makeup place that every, and perfumery that everyone loves? Yeah, I mean, it's... it's, it's comprehensive well, I've just tried to buy alien and they said no. Oh, that's a really nice shopping experience. It's so friendly. Wrapped it all up, the tissue paper, the ribbons. I'm not saying who it's for or what it is. What's it got to do with glasses? I do glasses with glasses. Oh, you're McCartney. talking thousands of pounds. Don't you just love it? And when you when you get a little tired in Selfridges, there's a little champagne bar. Yeah. So you can just sit and have champagne. Look at these. Look at that. You're allowed to touch them. Oh, I don't think so. How much no, is that? They're all, they're all alarmed. So oh, thousands. 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 So they wouldn't have the price on. That one has. That is £460, just what that. What for that? Yeah. For a label? No, that's just to put a yeah, bus pass. It's the bus pass. £460. It's bus pass, you missed all that. It's for your bus pass. <laughs> Thousands of that. Oh, look how pretty that one is. So gorgeous. So sparkly. Look, it's tied to the side. Don't move it, don't take it. They're beautiful. This but one. everything's tied down. Oh yeah, look at it. Does it come Can you, with... Is it showing how sparkly it is? Yeah, yeah. does it come with the wire? <laughs> Let's see how much they are. Look at the phone cases. Yeah, and your bus pass. Ooh, guess. 750. 1,200 pounds. 1,200 pounds? Yep. For a mobile phone. Let's on. have a look at these little things here. Oh my God. I mean, what kind of a fifu life do you have to have to have one of those? Kim Kardashian. Mine would have chewing gum and everything on it. I know. Sometimes I wish I could be a bit like that, where I just get something nice out of my bag and I know where it is, and then I pop it back in. Do well, you know where your like chewing gum is. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Look at that. 
that's going to be batshit crazy money. Again, where would you use it? Well, I'm not going to keep touching it. I feel wow. like someone's going to... Oh, oh. I don't actually like that. Those scary ladies have those sort of bags, don't yeah. These ladies. Yeah, those sorts of ladies. For those of our followers who don't know, Selfridges, where does it sit on the shopping scale? Oh, right up there. Selfridges is... Is it like Harrods? Harrods for young hip people. Well, no, it's much hipper than Harrods. Yeah, that's what I mean. Harrods like for hip got, people. Look, you've, got, you've got all the same stuff. They've got, you've got all the designer wigs. You've got all the room each little designer. Hat. So every it's label like has a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, except you can't get alien perfume. So we're in the laundry department, of which my mind boggles when I see it all. I just don't know what to make of it. I don't know what to do with myself. I come out in a hot flush and a hot rash. Mark was doing that classic thing of just looking like he wanted to give up the will to live. So I've sent him off in search of a coffee so I can actually shop. Oh, he's okay, he's found somewhere. <laughs> That's what's so brilliant about Selfridges. There's lovely little coffee bars and champagne bars where you can leave tired fellow shoppers. We're all going on a summer holiday. Look at that. I think that qualifies in it. Bloody hell, would you wear that? What would you put it on? What would it cover? Your nipple? No. It looks like a small face. Bottoms are 75. You can only sit at the bar. <laughs> What's that? They do. What is that? What is that? That's a what is it? It's a skirt. Oh. Huh? Really nice. Holiday. Some Bob. Pina, 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 pina colada. colada. Oh well. We've got a house. Seen it. How much? 650 quid. So, with my jock strap on, we're heading into another Christmas department. Mark, stop showing people that disgusting jock strap. Have you seen what's in there? No, this is brand new. The man at the door. They, yeah, but it won't be. Selfish, it won't be in a minute. You your own new clean mask. There's actually nothing to film. What's happened? Well, look, there's some decks here. gone off in one direction I've gone off in another and I've just realized that there's hardly any service so we'll probably never find each other again because we won't be able to text each other <laughs> oh this place is so divine mm. is self which is well known for its shoes yeah because you've got all you've got all the um, Valentino Gucci got all those really really pricey ones but then you've got more affordable. Ha ha ha. Jimmy Choo and all that have we got? Uggs. Look at those Uggs slippers. I know. I just sent a picture of them to Maddie and said, Do you like these? No. No. Look, Prada. Look at the Prada. 
Oh, look at that. Oh, so fabulous, aren't they? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, look, corrugated iron. <laughs> Who would have thought it would become Prada-esque? Oh, oh. This gorgeous suit. Now he looks perfect in that. How are we going to get Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, better. Oh, look, I've got my Gucci wellies. Gucci wellies. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those. 766 quid. Imagine if you went over on your heel. Imagine having that as your heel. That's hideous. Oh, that's nice, Poppies. Oh, very, 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 very flash kind of her woman for her. And she looks amazing. I would look absolutely ridiculous. She looks amazing. Yeah, I can see how they would. You can see them on. on Look at those. Aren't they gorgeous? Mm. Look at those. How exquisite are they? And this. Look. Almost a thousand pounds. <gasps> what do you mean, 999? <laughs> 799. <gasps> Look at those. You could call a friend at the same time. Shoe. Barbara Windsor. That is pure Barbara Windsor. She would have loved those. A little pineapple on the bottom. That's Jimmy Choo's. 850. Less than those boots. Less than those shoes. But they're so beautiful. But there's no shoe. But it's just a sole. The most expensive ones have less than that. That's quite That's something else, isn't it? Okay, they can tell we'll go jogging in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet you like these. Look at these. Oh, those are gorgeous. I knew you'd like that. See, oh, I know what you'd like. Beautiful they are. See, I told you you'd like yeah, those. They're not going to look great. Trotters. They're quite nice. Oh dear, these sparkles are literally Cinderella shoes. Oh, they are, aren't they? That is a mess of lace. If you, if you were trying to get those off someone, you'd take, spend hours. <laughs> yeah. These really do of these Especially when the paparazzi are flashing. Pounds. <gasps> Look. I'm very, 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 very unhappy. Why? I'm hungry and I want to go to the loo and I'm tired and I'm hot. Okay, well let's go and find a toilet, a restaurant and let's leave. Look. Wookie shoes. Oh, wow. But they're Wookie shoes, Chewbacca shoes. Oh, look, they're reduced from 790 to 475. Isn't it weird that they should be with all of those? Still gone into making those. Six ninety nine each. 
turkey here. Yeah. Is. She doesn't like food. It's funny, isn't it? That fruit and veg, Nads. This fruit and veg looks like every single uh, supermarket in America. Yeah, look at the pomegranates. Look at the lasagna. Oh, yeah. We did it. It's a bit too big. It wasn't very successful. Wasn't very successful. There's a pret over there. That's pretty. I like that. I like those candlesticks actually. I if they're yeah, they're quite nice. But again, yeah, fake candles. I love them. Couldn't uh, Lisa upcycle? Lisa loves could do that. Lisa loves. Lisa, 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 Lisa loves. Oh, look at that chandelier. Oh, wow. Just makes you think of Del Boy though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it does. I must say they're they're really down. Maybe it's a bit wrong to be ostentatious this year. Maybe that's what it is, and if so, that's good. But bloody hell, they're boring windows. <laughs> so we are, we've done Selfridges, we're absolutely exhausted and we need something to eat. I've suggested Pizza Express. Oh God, this looks hideous. Mm -hmm. Right, well, there's every kind of pizza you can imagine. There's a Nando's, there's a Pizza there's Express. There's burgers, there's, there's a Pret. Pret. There's Japanese. There's a Pret. <laughs> there's a Nando's, there's a Pret. You know that one that's low cat on 600 calories with a hole in it, it's got a hole in the middle. That sounds fun. <laughs> <laughs> so they take some of the dough What's out. What's the point of it? It's, more like, it's like ordering food, giving it to someone else to eat half of it and then being served it. Well, Every time when I've gone out with my mates and we've had one, right, and then we've had a few glasses of wine, and then for dessert I'm back to order a garlic tables because I can't go with fat. I miss the bit of bread. Why don't you just ask them to keep the bit in the middle? That's what I said to them. So the last time we went, well, this is when we were in the South Bank, and I went, can I have a Lajare because I like the light cheese and everything, but can I keep the middle in? I said, can you put the middle back in? And he was like, I don't think we can put the middle back in. What happens to the middle? Well, don't take the middle out. Well, then it's a pizza. Yeah, because, no, but it's low calorie cheese and everything, but I don't like the middle missing in the middle. That's the bit that gets soggy. Anyway, it all got very confusing. It was very hilarious. Well, I've never seen a man more confused. So, babe, it's so he has a lot of pizza and I had to go and see wine. And now we've got to start our shopping because we haven't actually it's bought anything It's 4pm and we've done nothing because we've been doing it all for oh, you guys. Listen, Mark, we haven't done anything. Well, actually we have because we've shot the vlog. Yeah, true. But now we're absolutely wasted. Totally and wasted. we've now got to do all our Christmas shopping. Yeah, we're going in the Covent Garden. We're also going to try and show you the lights later. Double wobble. Well, we can't film while we're What's shopping now. Double we need wobble? To get, we, need to get the, we need to get the hell on with it. What's double, double wonga? What is it when you get double? Double wonga. Double wobble. Double buck. Double buck. So I've been wanting to show you these lights ever since we started Vlogmas. And trying to get Nadia here has been an absolute nightmare, apart from when they were putting them up. So I'm going to turn you around and you're going to see the seven dials. You go over to the queue, and either the queue is so horrendous that you can't bear to join it, or like the lovely girl in the white company who spent an hour perhaps wrapping everything. Oh. Well, it wasn't an hour, but it felt like an hour. Oh, we could have got Kiki custards. She loves oh them. Oh, God, she can forget her custards. Yeah. 
Really? Oh my God, it was unbearable. That was a wicked match today, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Instagram a few weeks ago, this new baby from Ninja. You know I've been working for Ninja. You even a puff now we've been yeah. working with Ninja. And um, so I saw this amazing soft churn ice cream that was made with one of these. It also makes like smoothie bowls and sorbets, milkshakes. So um, I called up Ninja and went, I have one of those please to try because I think you lot would love it. Honestly, the ice cream looked so amazing. Anyway, so I'm just having my very first go. And look how easy this is, right? So I've just got 18 grams of cream cheese in there. Mm -hmm. I just blasted for 10 seconds because they give you the recipe book for the base. All right, then I've got 55 grams of caster sugar, which I'm going to put in there. I've got 230 mils of whole milk. That's right. Yeah. And then 150 mils of double cream. Now, guess what I'm going to make, Mark? I'm making this specially for you. I don't know. What are you going to make? I am making a nice Christmassy ice cream. Ooh. Do you remember when Dina got from a certain shop the most amazing Christmas ice cream a couple of years ago and then they didn't do it again? Look, you just whisk it like that. Now, honestly, if this is anything like as good as it looks on Insta the other day, this is going to be on you go to. You're not going to believe how easy this is, Mark. Right? Racking my brain to remember what it was. Look, pour this in here so that sugar's all dissolved now, like that. And that's our base ice cream. So, put your lid on. We don't use the machine today, we use the machine tomorrow. No. Come. And then you just put it in your freezer like this, and the flat has to be flat. And you leave it for 24 hours. Apparently, people get tempted to take it out before the 24 hours, but apparently, you mustn't do that. Apparently, that's not good. So, in 24 hours, we will then put it into this baby, which will churn it. We'll add our flavourings. It's going to be minced meat, and that'll be it. It's a bit dangerous. So easy. Mm. You'll never guess what. What? Kiki's not very well, guys. And she just came down to me and she said, Mum, have we got any ice cream? I went, you're not going to believe it. No. I've made some. And she went, how do you make ice cream? <laughs> I said, you'll have to watch the vlog. It is quite magical. Anyway, so I said, she went, what a homemade ice cream? She said, yeah. said, it's going to be mince meat, like a mince pie. But in the ice cream, she went, does it have to be? <laughs> so I've changed it, guys. I've got these gorgeous chocolate gingerbread biscuits, Ooh. which I'm going to mush up. And that's going to go into our. Oh my lord! That's going to go into our ice cream. So like a, a cookie dough, but it's not a cookie dough because that's a faff. And I know you lot don't like a faff. You like to get something quick and delicious. Mm. So we've got our ice cream. There it oh, is. Wow! And it's been in there 24 hours. Yeah. So I've just been reading up on what I do next. Put that in there. And then you see this, let me just show you how I put it on. So, oh, forgive me, it's brand new for me too. So, it's really easy. You just use that latch there, mm -hmm. ba -ba drop it in, release the latch, hang on, release the latch, and there it is. And that is our ice cream paddle. Then you put it just slightly right, hang on. That's right, yeah, slide my right, and click it in. Then you pop it under, plugged in. I'm, I'm really, ex see how easy it is? I literally have not used this before. Do I now put it up? Oh yeah, I put it up like that, locked in, turn it on, and look, I'm just gonna put ice cream in. Ah! So when all four lights are on, flashing, that's it done, ice cream. And can rush it upstairs to Kiki, because it's an emergency situation. She needs ice cream now. You might be thinking why she's standing over there. It's because I wanted the Christmas tree behind me. So you'd feel Christmassy with your chocolate gingerbread ice cream. That was so easy, I'm actually quite worried. Do you think you could make this ice cream now, Mark? Yeah, I think I could. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
I love that addition of that really small amount of good. <clears throat> Done. That was what, about three minutes? Press that, release. Lift it off, take it off. So you see that's a bit crumbly, but it's not gonna be because we're gonna put it back in again. So you make um, like a four centimeter hole down to the bottom. I'm gonna put my chocolate biscuits in. My crushed chocolate biscuits. Mm. And then we can put my lid back on. Yeah, stop it. Mm, oh, it really good. Back on. Oh, now, honestly, guys, this is the first time I've ever used this. Look, so now we've put in our biscuits and just press mix in. Ooh, I'm going to go and get a bowl. Look, but, oh, God, Kiki's going to be so excited. Whoa, there we go. Are you excited? I'm excited. Oh, I mustn't forget to do that. Da, 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 da. Moment of truth. Oh. Mm. Oh, oh look nice. at that. Just how we like our ice cream, Mark. <gasps> oh. oh my goodness. This is like mince meat and a mince pie. No, I didn't do mince meat in the end, did I? I didn't oh. do mince meat from a mince pie because Mad Kiki wanted gingerbread chocolate That's ice nice. cream. No, I've got some more broken gingerbread biscuits to go on top. I'm going to go upstairs and give this to Kiki in her sick bed. I'm going to eat it straight from the pot because, of course, there's something so wonderfully Nigella about eating it straight from the pot. <laughs>